Shalom, family. Shalom to everybody in the chat. Oh, boy. <laughs> Man, I remember at the very beginning of the month when I started talking about this blood moon. And now <laughs> it's damn near here. And the thing is, I may not get to see the blood moon. We have a thunderstorm tomorrow. And I don't know how clear the skies are going to be. So I may not be able to see it at all. I may have to just view it online. So, oh, we shall see. But in our forecast, we got rain for tomorrow. So it's a big chance I probably won't even get to see it. So the nice part is it's heavily live streamed. Every time there's any type of eclipse or lunar eclipse going on, so you can always go to NASA or some channel that always got it broadcasting live. So this moon has a couple of names. It's known as a beaver moon. It's also known as a frost moon. So wherever you are on Monday, as long as the skies are clear, you should be able to see this blood moon. Now, if you don't know what time it is in your area, I left a link in the description box and you should be able to click on that. And on that time and date page, you will be able to see what time it will appear in the skies where you are. Now, this eclipse, ladies and gentlemen, is going to go on for four and a half hours. Four and a half hours. So here on the East Coast, uh, it, it's going to begin at 2.32 a.m. And it's going to end, I believe, uh, it's past six o'clock. But it's four and a half hours, wherever you are. So you want to look up in the sky early Monday morning and you'll see the annual beaver or frost moon, November's full moon. And it earned that name beaver moon because this was the time of the year that particular animal was extremely busy in the dams around the country. So the beavers would be very busy this time of the year. So it'll be a real good treat if you're out there sky watching. Now, I know some people are like, oh no, I don't want to see that moon. You know, don't worry about seeing the moon. That moon is for the Gentiles, y'all. <laughs> Just like when there were blood moons in Egypt. There were blood moons in Egypt. They, those moons were for them Hamite Egyptians. That was not for the Israelites. So you have nothing to fear. This is strictly for these Gentiles. Okay. So the full moon itself will appear in the sky. This is without the blood moon. The blood moon is tomorrow, but you will still get to see this full moon all the way up through Tuesday. It will be a full moon in the sky. Okay, so it becomes at its fullest on Monday and that's when the eclipse will happen, when it'll pass um, by the earth. So yes, the beaver moon is when they built their dams in the winter. And the reason why beavers do that is they get wherever they're living prepared for the winter. They do it at this time of the year, every single year. Okay, so some of the names they, they call it is one, the beaver moon, the cold moon, the morning moon, and also the frost moon. The beaver moon is the last full moon on the Gregorian calendar before the winter salt, uh, solstice. The winter solstice is December 21st. 
So this will be very interesting. I'm going to um, share my screen with you. There's a couple of things I want to show you. Okay, y'all. Okay. Give me a one if you can see my screen. Now they, you know, I was looking at some of the other websites because, you know, astrology, they get heavily into the full, you know, you know these blood moons. And they said, this moon is going to generate a lot of energy, you know, and I kind of believe that because of all the judgment that's on this world, especially America. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. All right. So the blood moon will either look reddish or it'll look sort of like an orange hue to the moon. Now, here we go. This is a good site to go to for any information on the moon. This is timeanddate.com. And this just gives you a lot of basic information on the moon names, um, how it got its name, a lot of what I just went over. And if you want to know when, what time you will be able to see it in the sky, here's the countdown. And it'll show you what parts of the world will see it. And here's the time right here. Now, for me, this is East Coast time. When you log into this, well, you don't have to log in, but when you go to this site, depending on where your location is, it will adjust the time and the location. So I'm on the East Coast. So it's going to show New York time, which is what you see here. So it'll tell you the beginning of the eclipse. The penumbral eclipse began at 2.32 a.m. All right. Then the maximum eclipse will be at 4.42. And yes, it, you know, it'll be visible as long as the clouds are not overcast. And it will end, the prenumbral eclipse end at 6.53 a.m. for me. So it's going to be close to four and a half hours. So a totality, four hours and 21 minutes. So it will be visible as long as you got clear skies. So this will be interesting. Now, who will be able to see it? It tells you right here, much of Europe, much of Asia, Australia, North America, all of North America, including Mexico and Canada, South America, the Pacific, Atlantic, and Arctic. Now, if you're in Africa, because I do have subscribers in Africa, it's not supposed to be visible in Africa. You know, but it's very interesting just looking at the locations that it is visible in, you know? So we shall see. I believe the places that it's visible in, those are the places that's going to face the judgment. It's going to go crazy. Usually after um, the full moon, we would have mass shootings because I'm just going on uh, some of the past eclipse. We've had mass shootings. We've had disasters happen after this particular, um, you know, any of the eclipse or a lunar eclipse. And we know, we know what the blood moons in the, you know, what it means in the biblical text. So that means there's a heavy judgment coming for places that can see that blood moon. That blue blood that blood moon is not a good thing, <laughs> especially if that judgment is on you. It's not a good thing. So ladies and gentlemen, if you can enjoy the festive no, it's not in Africa. I know. 
it, it seems like it should be, but no, they're saying it won't be visible in Africa. Yes, um, CH464, I am getting everything back. Right now, the reason why there's a delay for two reasons. Number one, we're testing it to make sure it works and it, it appears to work. Number two, I'm getting all brand new nature videos put together. So you're, the ones that you saw before, you won't see this time around. Everything that you see this time around is going to be brand new videos. Everything I'm getting redone all over again. Thank you, Cameron Charles, for the super chat. Lisa, with the high amount of energy it's going to give off, there's going to be a high level of witchcraft, enchantment, thrown out of these Gentiles, especially from Edom. Yes. Yeah, it will be, you know, it, it's a lot of Wicca activity happening during the blood moon. You're absolutely right. They do it every single time. So it, it's really nothing new, but at the end of the day, that blood moon belongs to our heavenly father. <laughs> okay. It don't belong to any of these sorcerers or witchcraft people and Wicca, whatever. It don't belong to them. It belongs to him. And if you notice, y'all, remember Paula White's uh, demonic chant? Their prayers are not being answered anymore. <laughs> I don't know if you notice, y'all. Those prayers are not being answered no more. They may have had it like that once upon a time. They don't have it like that anymore. You know, they don't have it like that anymore. They can't just put something out in the universe and it happens in their favor. It's not happening in their favor no more. Those days are done. Those days are now behind us. <laughs> you know, they had a 24 hour prayer vigil for Donald Trump. And Paula was one of many that prayed around the clock for a Donald Trump victory. Did you see this Donald Trump victory? <laughs> okay. Enough said. Thank you, Loveline, for the super sticker. Thank you so much. All right. That's what they were doing. They, they were ever, you know, actually there were prayers all night long for Donald Trump. All day and all night for a straight 24 hours. And look at what the end result is. That prayer was ignored. And Donald Trump still lost. So, you know, they're taking a lot of L's these days. And <laughs> they're taking a lot of L's on the world stage. I mean, it is just undeniable. Everything they might have possessed before, they don't have that anymore. It is gone for real. It is gone for real. Yes, um, you know what? Uh, B first, Queensland. Yeah, True Royal and I were talking about that. Yeah, I saw the hashtag diaper Don. <laughs> that was actually funny. That was funny as hell. Yes, they're, they're dragging Donald Trump on social media, especially on Twitter. They've been heavily using hashtag diaper Don. And one of the writers on The Apprentice said Donald Trump wears diapers. Thank you, Loveline, for the second super sticker. Thank you so much. And that person was saying Donald Trump has been wearing diapers since the 1990s. That's how long he's been wearing, depends, since the 1990s. <laughs> and, and damn. You know, that is just crazy. And it came from drug use. He said he became incontinent from drug use back then. And so now he has to wear a diaper for the rest of his life. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, he's incontinent. But you know what? We, we should have known that. Because there were pictures out there with Donald Trump with pee stains in his pants. I, I kid you not. You can look it up. There's pictures of Donald Trump with pee stains in his pants. 
shit stains. Somebody sent me a cash app. Shit stains in the pants. I mean, all of that stuff is out there. And I don't think that is Photoshopped, y'all. I think that is legitimate. Thank you, Melissa Harris Christopher, for the super, uh, for, I'm sorry, for the um, cash app. Thank you, Melissa Harris Christopher. So, you no, know, so, you know, Donald Trump got problems, <laughs> to be honest with you. He really need to get back to a personal life and attend to all of his legal problems. You know, that's what he doesn't want to deal with. And, and in all honesty, I think that's what all this voter fraud mess at the end of the day. This man don't want to lose the presidency because it now opens the door to all of that litigation that's waiting for him. It's not about cheating. It's not about doing right by the country. This is all for selfish reasons on why Donald Trump wants to stay in office. It's all for selfish reasons. So, but yeah, I mean, this dude really spilled the beans on Donald Trump. He's one of the writers for The Apprentice. He said sometimes they had to change Donald Trump more than once. <laughs> they had to change his diaper on the set more than once. I'm like, ew. <laughs> Oh man, what a mess. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I guess it's really true when they say Donald Trump is full of shit. He, his diaper certainly is. <laughs> All right, y'all, you know, just be very observant to the things that will happen after this blood moon. <laughs> we, will, we will see all the string of things that will happen because I really think America is in a bad place. You know, um, first of all, there's what, over 4 million coronavirus cases in the month of November alone from the 1st to the 28th. And now you had all of these people that just came together for Thanksgiving. They're already cringing over the next surge. There's only over 91,000 people hospitalized across America. I mean, America is in a really bad position right now. You know, if you got 91,000 people in the hospital, and you're about to go through another surge, you're going to be in a world of trouble. <laughs> you hear me? You're going to be in a world of trouble. Now you're going to have to figure out where you're going to put this next overload of people that are going to be running to the hospital. So y'all, you know what to do. Just tell me what you think in the comment section. And thank you so much for coming. And hopefully, you know, it, it probably won't be clear enough for me. But for some of you, wherever you are in the country or in another part of the world where it's going to be visible, you may actually get a good glimpse at the blood moon. So everybody, please enjoy the rest of your night. I do appreciate all of our time we spend together. And please stay safe. Shalom, family.